Hey everyone, this is Rish and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be playing the limited time event, which is Howler Hunt. Now this you can find under the events tab and it came as part of the recent patch. It sounds quite ambiguous. All it says is a treacherous force has infiltrated a group of adventurers, find and kill it before it kills you. Now with this, you do it in a party and the group size needs to be between six and eight players. So I'm gonna pull some of my friends to do this with me and let's see what happens. So this first part of the video, there are seven of us playing as one of our guys left. Um, the most confusing part for this was working out the controls. So it gives you instructions when you enter, but the actual controls from mobile when you are trying to vote for who you think the howler is um, and all of that is quite confusing. You will also see a lot of us typing and chatting. So pay attention to the chat box at the bottom throughout this whole video because we had so much fun with this and I literally spent over an hour just laughing <laughs> while we were doing this event. It was so much fun. Um, yeah, so the whole idea is that you have a group of players and two people on the team will be howlers. So you have to work out which person is the howler within your team or you may be the howler. And what a howler does is they will actually kill the other players. So for this game, I'm adventurer. So that means I am not one of the howlers. So my strategy for this, if I'm an adventurer, is to try and stay away from everyone. You can also use the long grass like that to hide in. And that can be quite helpful whether you are the adventurer or whether you're the howler. Um, so on one occasion when I was howler, I actually just stood in the grass pretty much the whole time and just killed people when they walked past. And you can see there my teammate jumping over me because they could see that I'd gone into that long grass and they were worried I was the howler and that I was going to kill them. So it will come up with instructions throughout while you're playing and tell you where you need to go. So you can see here, this is one of the sacred wards that is blighted. So you basically just do this to the tower. And then everyone was saying I was the howler at this point. And I was like, not this time. Um, so yeah, basically follow the instructions on the screen as you go. And I will go through how to use the controls on mobile as well in a little bit. So you can see I'm a bit suspicious of my teammates here and that is why I keep stopping in the long grass. I'm like waiting until the coast is clear for me to take my shards, whatever you want to call them, to the shrine. Um, so sacred energy, sorry, that is what we're meant to be contributing. And you see, I have just found a corpse of one of my teammates. Now, when you find the corpse of your teammate, you basically um, interact with it and then you will be able to vote for who you think the howlers are. Now, at first I couldn't get the voting system to work. It is that little symbol next to my bandage on the screen. Um, and I put in who I thought, into the chat who I thought was the howler. And unfortunately they were not a howler and game zone got killed. So sorry about that game zone. Um, but then I didn't actually vote, so it's not my fault. So at this point we're all kind of thinking, right, well, who are the two howlers? Because it was not game zone and we just killed an innocent team member. Um, and I did have my suspicions about Malmar at this point, who was on our team. Um, because he was walking in a funny way and didn't seem to be contributing this sacred energy. So some people do have tells with this and I can see he's creeping up on me here. And just like that, he is a howler and I am dead. And once you're dead, like this, you're turned into a ghost and you cannot interact with the chat and you cannot talk to anyone, so you cannot give hints. So let's try a different match. This is how to use the chat tool and this is the same way that you would vote for who you think the howler is. So basically on mobile, you press down on that symbol and you move your thumb or finger right around the screen um, to put the text that you want to. And then when you are voting for who you think the howler is, you use the exact same function. So you press and hold it uh, like this and you can select the player. Now the only uh, problem with when you select who you think the howler is, is that it only has the icon for the players. So it only has the face icon for each player. And obviously if you have two people on your team using the same icon, it can be a little bit confusing. So be careful when you do this and make sure you try and vote for the correct person. Now, I'm gonna just let you watch the rest of these videos. As I said, pay attention to the text box at the bottom. Um, I'm adventure again for this match. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. And if you give this mode a go, I hope you have as much fun as I did. Highly recommend doing it with a group of friends and you will just be laughing the whole time.
I don't know about you, but as funny as this is, I also found that really tense because Game Zone was basically stalking them like prey and only one of them voted that it was going to be him. Um, and so he didn't get discovered as the howler. Um, so the majority needs to rule for them to get discovered as a howler. And he's kind of doing this thing where he's playing along as if he's actually helping with the tasks. And you can see <laughs> that he's not. He's just stalking his prey. Um, but yeah, like I said, this game mode is so much fun. My face was hurting from laughing so much while we were playing this. I hope you have found this video helpful and fun. A huge shout out to my clan mates that decided to take part in this and allow me to film it while we played. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day. If you haven't tried this game mode yet, definitely do. And yeah, that's it from me.